ماشي يا ريتك Okay, thank you. There is Abel, there is Anne, Missia, and Sigres. Hello, how are you? We are fine. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Happy birthday, Dr. Terry. Thank you so much. Wow, wow. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> you dressed the occasion. <laughs> yeah, I don't take it lightly that you decided to do this for me. I remembered the massage that um that uh, adorned me at one. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, you had attended that occasion. <laughs> yeah. That's that's great. Yeah, and people they are able to identify that that Tata is from Kenya. Uh, yeah. Uh, of course, you have to explain. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I shall explain. Okay, thank you. That's good. Yeah. You can see Jane Jerry has also joined us. Hi, Jane, hi. how are you? Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah amazing. So, Jen, uh, you, can, you, you can pray for us once we start. Okay. Just giving people a few more minutes, and then we start. Okay. I'm sure people are in the Christmas Eve. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good evening. Uh, yes. Good evening to you. I'm also happy to be in the meeting. Happy birthday, Dr. Tari. Thank you so much, Abel. Yes, Karibuni Sana, just a few minutes and then we, we start, yeah. Yeah, anyone else who want to say hi before we start? Ah. <laughs> Abel, that is your wife? <laughs> Unmute. Hi, Dr. Chari. Hi, how are you? Congratulations, this is Marie Tim. Oh, this is Marie Tim. Thank you. So that is, Abel is your husband? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, these are two. Sorry. Marie Tim, how are you? She, she's my wife. I'm well. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. And happy oh, birthday. Oh, thank you. All the glory and honor goes back to the Lord. Thank you. We are proud of you. So thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else want to say hi? Yeah, continue, continue, please. We're starting in uh, two minutes' time. I didn't, I, I didn't send to, to messages to my my friends. Uh, some of them are asking if the Sunday meeting is on. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I wish, well, wish we sent it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, but I'm sure right now because of Christmas, majority of people have taken their family for outing and yeah, no, those that, those huh? that will join. 
and the people yes. you invited. I've just yes. uh, called a few, just a few friends on okay. my own. Yeah, but all that you invited are the, the people that you invited yourself. Oh, okay. And that, that's that's okay. I've joined. So welcome those who are joining us. Uh, this is Jacqueline uh, Kadogo. Uh, this is Mary. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Jen, Jen, you are together with us. I would wish you start us off with a word of prayer, please. Jen, you can hear? You can hear us? Oh, she's talking uh, but muted. Jen, please unmute yourself. Uh, Jane. Yes. Okay. You can pray Hello? for us. Yeah, yes. Pray for us, please. Yes, let's pray. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before your throne of mercy this evening. We thank you, Father, for bringing us together yet again we celebrate the milestone this far oh lord thank you father for the year that is coming to an end we want to thank you also for the birthday and uh the achievement father for the tari thank you father for each one of us we glorify you lord because it is your hand that has brought us this far we call your presence with us lord and we pray jehovah god for your guidance as we move forward in jesus name we pray amen amen amen, amen. thank you thank you jane we yes. appreciate it and, amen and uh, this, uh, this is great we highly appreciate so i want to welcome all of you uh to this occasion you remember the way uh we put It, as we are trying to invite people, we are celebrating uh, Dr. Christine. I, to me, I prefer using Dr. Tina. <laughs> mm. Yes, I, 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 I know uh, she is very happy that we are having this occasion. So the reason why we are celebrating is because, number one, uh, uh, when somebody has done a lot uh, for you, it is always good to appreciate. And this is even biblical. We are appreciating what Dr. Tari has done for us to unite us as a group, uh, uh, hundreds and sometimes even thousands of us. If you look at the numbers in the group, uh, that is a lot. And then the impact she has uh, made to each one of us. Uh, we some of us we may not have known her for long, but I, even for those few months and uh, some of us even weeks, uh, that impact is so much, and we appreciate. I saw a comment in the group, someone saying that uh, maybe uh, Dr. Tina is the one, the next one, now to be given the Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> for what she has done in the education of sustainable development. And we we know you deserve this. And I wish I was in the panel. I would float your name, and then I also select you to be <laughs> the Nobel Peace winner for 2024 this coming year. So we are so proud of you, Dr. Tari. Thank you for your sacrifice. And to me, one of the greatest thing I've learned from you is 
you have had a lot. Uh, imagine you are doing studies, you're working, you are having a family, you are having so many groups, you, you, the ESD groups and many other groups. And I remember there's a time you mentioned you have even over hundreds and, uh, of groups and all of them, and you are, you are required to study. I listened to you when you're talking talking about uh, how why we need to study and the, you took us through um, uh, was it a library of one of the um, ladies you are with there and I can tell you you are able to get time for each of all those activities and especially even for us individually so we appreciate so much so this occasion and this e-meeting that you're having is to appreciate you, Dr. Ari, for the impact that you've made, especially in the Nisawa ESD program. There are many people who are confessing that they are now getting a lot of comfort and encouragement and even advice from the Nisawa ESD program, and we appreciate uh, that a lot. So this uh, forum or this meeting will not uh, we are not going to take for long so we want to encourage us to stick to the end what we are planning is number one thing is we want to encourage you to share in the group chat share as much as possible what dr Harry has done for you and uh, as you pass your congratulatory, uh, congratulatory messages to her uh, please feel free, uh, free to chat, to write. I expect all of us to write something, and especially, especially the impact, the impact she has made to, uh, to you as an individual. I would wish we we put that so that uh, we are able to report. Yeah, sorry for that. We, we can um, unmute, uh, we can mute, please. Yes, so what I want is to request all of us to write. And, and I can see some people already started. This is very encouraging. Let us be writing uh, so that we appreciate Dr. Tari. We may not have time uh, to say something, but of course, we are going to have some people who are going to say something uh, small about Dr. Tari. But for all of us who will not be able to get a chance, I pray and I urge you to write something. Thank you, uh, uh, parents. Uh, thank you for writing and the others who are writing, we encourage you to write. And then we are also going to request Dr. Harry to share briefly and, and encourage us and also tell us how is it to have all those things and yet you are still achieving, yet you are still receiving honorary uh, degree. Uh, so how, how is it like you're able to achieve all this to a point of receiving all those honors? We would wish uh, to get encouraged by you as well as you advise us, because even as we would wish, <laughs> it's, it's what you usually say, Dr. Harry, that uh, when I grow up, I want to be like Dr. Tina, <laughs> uh, that I can be able to do all those things and I'm still doing, um, still doing them in uh, the right way and in love. Uh, thank you and we appreciate. So I would want, to and uh, request at least two people. One will be a gentleman, and the other one will be a lady, just to say something about Dr. Tari. So if you are there, you'd want to start and say something about Dr. Tari as you wish her um, happy birthday. And, and then you say something about what you have learned about uh, uh, Dr. Tari, especially in the ESD uh, program. Anyone who want to start? We're only having two chances, a gentleman and a lady.
anyone i'm sure you have joined here because you like and you 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 love daktari as you continue chatting please make sure you write yeah continue writing thank you maritim anyone who want to say something Of the table of the family. So you need uh, sorry, sorry, uh, where you are. Is there someone else? Hello, is George around? George, uh, no, anyone who has interacted with Dr. Terry well and would wish to share something just to encourage us and also to tell us about what uh, the impact that uh, Dr. Terry has made, not necessarily even for you as an individual, but also in, in the ESD program. Anyone wish uh, to share? Okay, I would be forced to a point now. Yeah. Abel, maybe, maybe you can say something. Abel, as uh, you write. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the chance. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. I, I want to take this time and uh, wish our doctor Happy birthday. We are really proud of you, madam. You've been very inspiring to us. And uh, for the ESD program that we have been having every Sunday throughout the year, we really want to appreciate and uh, say that we have learned a lot. Some of us who had uh, challenges with our debts, we are now well informed on how to navigate and go through debts and maybe invest for the future. At Kugak Maya, yeah. and, uh, Sorry, we are um, uh, appreciate. Sorry, um, I don't. Yeah. Hello? Florida, if you wouldn't mind, kindly just start again because I dropped and uh, the recording stopped. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I said I'm Maritim Florida. Um, a teacher by profession, a principal. And um, I want to thank uh, Dr. Tari uh, and congratulate you for the milestones that you've made one on the honorary degree that you have attained, uh, you've achieved. It's an achievement because of what you have done, the contribution you have made to humanity. Um, two, on happy birthday, as you turn a leaf, um, a new year, that means greater knowledge and uh, greater things that God is going to bring your way. Um, I want to thank you for, I, we came to, uh, rather I came to know you from TPD program uh, with Kemi. And I have learned a lot. Um, I've not just been learning alone, as I've said, I have learned with my family. Mm -hmm. I am a mother of young adults, four of them. And I have been sharing the information that you've been getting. Sometimes we listen with them because I also want, I don't want them to make the mistakes that I made. I, today I'm preparing for retirement in the next few years. And uh, I am informed on how to prepare myself to avoid uh, get, becoming a burden to my family or getting into debts that I cannot manage. I have shared the same information as I've said, not only with my children, um, but also I have shared with my extended family. And so we've been, we benefited a lot from the programs and uh, um, I'm looking forward to working with you and working the journey with you in the, in the coming year. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Tari. Thank you. Your, your, the info, knowledge you have shared is not in vain. As you said, sh um, sharing is caring indeed. 
you cared. Even when we were a few in the group, you kept moving. And that encouraged me. I, I'm borrowing a leaf on even me. I'm thinking of, can I still go for further studies uh, and uh, gain more knowledge? I'm learning a lot from you and you're a family uh, person. Uh, so I want to congratulate and thank your family for giving you the opportunity to train us um, and to share what God has put in your heart. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas and a happy new year to everyone. Thank you, Dr. Charles. Uh, Charles um, Ishui, for what you've been doing. I, I'll, I'll still be inboxing you on what I have. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Florida. That was so good and profound. Thank you. We appreciate. And we, I know we. this is God who has connected us with the Terry and we appreciate a lot. Now, a time has come. Now, there is someone who is uh, putting now the cakes and the celebrations falling down uh, our Zoom meeting. I do wish you put that now as we welcome uh, Dr. Tina and uh, to share with us and to encourage us as well as continue impacting on us. And as she concludes, we will also be reading your messages. We're going to read them uh, uh, quickly when she is concluding. So Dr. Terry, uh, we want to welcome you. Uh, feel like we, we, are, we are now standing in, uh, as, as in uh, we are having a standing innovation in innovation. In, 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 it's called what? Standing ovation, yes, for you. Uh, and we are also clapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that now we welcome you to take over and uh, talk to us as we wish you happy birthday. Karibu, Dr. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish each one of you could have said some something. Who is iPhone? I want to know who iPhone is. Please unmute so that I help you write your name iPhone, who is iPhone? I, I'd really love to see your names. Thank you. And before I say anything, Charles, can you allow me to invite my sister to say something? Yes, yes, we'll be happy to. Thank you. Welcome. My elder sister is here, Damaris Obaigwa. I am her immediate follower. Damaris, wow. please unmute and say hi to the team. Okay, I'm very, very much grateful. I'm so much happy. I'm overwhelmed with joy to be in this great meeting. I'm so happy for my follower, Kristen. I call her my twin sister because you're just a difference of months, you can imagine. I'm so glad with my sister. My sister has been of great importance onto my life. She has been introducing me to so many things in my life. She introduced me to Kemi. She got me by force into training with the Kemi. I remember under education, under management. She's the one who pushed me. She has been pushing me into various places of study. And for sure I have grown because of my sister. She's my follower, but I regard her very much in my life. This is a wonderful lady. She's a very beautiful lady to our family. My parents feel proud of her. My dad walks high because of my sister, Christine. I'm so grateful to her friends. I always read your messages upon my sister. I feel very good to, my, to all friends of my sister. Those people that my sister has made to improve, has made to make her step ahead in life. I'm so grateful. I thank you all and I pray that God may keep us strong in this forum and more. And my sister, Christine, please don't forget us. Keep on giving us good things that can make us also grow. We are so proud of you. We thank God very much because of you and because of the fire that he has brought you into. Otherwise, thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman, for organizing this meeting. God bless you so much. Thank you. Well, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, I don't know. I'm so humbled. You know, she... Your elder sister is like your mother. And uh, when she blesses me, 
I feel like it is actually coming directly from my mother. I want to thank you, uh, everyone. Let me start, uh, just let me start it, this, this, this speech officially. Uh, good evening, uh, esteemed friends, colleagues, uh, Dennis Sauer family, Education for Sustainable Development family, my Kemi trainees, my family, uh, my friends, uh, those that are in Canada and those that are in Kenya and those that are in other parts of the world. Uh, because I know you're going to get this recording, I know uh, it is important that I appreciate all of you. Now, as I'm here today, uh, in this delightful virtual gathering, I'm not only celebrating another year of my life, but of course also commemorating a cherished milestone in my career, receiving an honorary doctorate degree. I'm really humbled that you thought about this. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I was like, I was thrown out of balance when I saw Charles posting, you know, like we're going to have this meeting. I was so humbled. I am immensely grateful to God for his unceasing favor and guidance, which have been pivotal in every achievement and every challenge I have surmounted. Uh, it goes without saying that for you to get to where I have gotten to, you must have um, jumped several hurdles. You must have tackled enough challenges, others that are very heavy, uh, others that uh, you really need to be very strong to say, now I have to overcome, and then you move on. Now to all of you, my dear friends and colleagues, your unwavering support and belief in my endeavors have been a pillar of strength. Uh, you, you are not just teammates or companions, you are the family of my choosing, my confidence, my greatest source of motivation. When you come on this forum, sometimes I share personal information and I believe that by sharing this personal in information, sometimes I am, I am planting a seed. This celebration, so thoughtfully organized, is a tribute to our collective journey and our shared victories. Our gathering today transcends a mere celebration. I don't take it for granted. It is a testament to the power of community and collaboration. Uh, I usually talk about collaboration, that let us purpose to collaborate more and compete less. This is just a sign that we have embraced collaboration, that we are not competing, we are collaborating for the good of everyone. Thank you so much, Charles, for this idea. You know, the fact that you thought of appreciating and celebrating me that I become a celebrity, you know, it's, it is really humbling that we have embraced collaboration more now than competition. Our work at Denisawa, as well as ESD, is not just individual accomplishments. It's a reflection of our collective impact the lives we have enriched. Remember when we come for these meetings, I keep telling you, whatever you have picked, take it out and share with someone. And the positive changes we've fostered in our society. Uh, it is not about you or me. It is about that other person that you have impacted with the knowledge that you have received from our forums be it in person or virtually. In this light, I want to emphasize the importance of education for sustainable development. Uh, remember, I've, as I've always said, it is not just an academic discipline, yeah? 
but it is a vital tool for shaping a sustainable future. Because education for sustainable development talks about generally everything about life. It talks about peace, talks about matters, economic sustainability, which we have been dealing with in Denisawa. It talks about matters, environmental sustainability, which basically we've been dealing with in the ESD group. It talks about social sustainability, which we have always been bringing in in whatever we are discussing. Through Education for Sustainable Development, we empower individuals and communities with knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed to contribute to a more sustainable world. I keep uh, talking, when I'm talking to my friends, I keep asking them, why do people hate others? Why are people competing? Why are people killing their brothers and sisters? Why are people envious of, uh, why are people jealous? And yet each one of us has been blessed differently. Each one of us has been gifted differently. What if we embraced one another, appreciated each other the way we are, and instead of looking at the flaws in somebody's life, look at the positives, so that when we put our positives together, we are going to form a strong society. Let's pledge to be champions in this cause, to integrate these principles in our personal and professional lives and to inspire others to join us in this noble endeavor. Our commitment to Denis Sawa uh, lessons, our commitment to the ESG program is a commitment to the future, a future where everyone uh, is counted. Everyone's action, each action is counted and it counts where every effort leads to a lasting positive impact on our planet and its inhabitants. And so that is why in Education for Sustainable Development, I, I, I emphasize the fact that we need to know how to take care of ourselves, how to take care of others, and how to take care of the planet. It starts with you. The way you take care of yourself, we reflect on how you're going to take care of others. So uh, everything that you're doing, when you seek for information, when you come for learning sessions like this, you are taking care of yourself. Because by gathering this information, you'll be able to share with someone else. In that sense, you are taking care of others. And when the the, the, you and the people that you are impacting on do the right things in the planet we are living in, then you are taking care of the, the planet. As we forge ahead, I want to encourage each one of you to embrace the spirit of giving and service. We have the power to make a difference. I usually say, go and mad, M-A-D. M-A-D means make a difference to influence change, and to leave an indelible mark on this uh, wonderful society that God has given us. Let us harness this power to not only excel in our respective fields, but also to uplift, educate, and inspire those around us. Uh, I want to uh, to echo the words of um, Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. And that, that small group is this group that is meeting here today. That small group is this group that we have in our WhatsApp, the ESD WhatsApp group, the TPD WhatsApp group the Diploma in Education, Leadership and Management WhatsApp group, the Denisawa WhatsApp group, the Sharing um, Opportunities WhatsApp group, and the others. There are quite a number. 
indeed it's not only um it is on it's not only that uh by being there then you are making a difference the only way you can make a difference is to be there get information digest this information by taking it to the heart appreciating everything that we share appreciating everything that we post on the walls that is that is what it means to take it to the heart having some feelings for whatever we share because it's all for the common good of humanity and then going down to do something about it i have always talked about the three h the head the heart and the hands get to know it get to appreciate and love it let it be part of you and then go down and involve the hands by implementing it so that is the only way we can make a difference let us be that group of citizens that are really inspired to want to make a change in our societies in our families in our schools wherever we are let us be the change makers the pathfinders and the beacons of hope and progress if you want to make a difference in whatever you are doing wherever you have been placed to work i i believe in uh being the owner of that particular task taking yourself as the boss as the manager doing it to your best to please the boss and that boss is you that is the perspective at which i work that whatever in whatever task any work that i am given be it by an employer by a parent by my husband or anyone i take it like i place myself in the position of that manager who has given me the work and say now this is the boss who is me how will i want to see this work done then i do it that way and when you own the work when you own the task you will find yourself driving it with passion and when you put passion in whatever you are doing you will definitely see results so in whatever we are doing wherever we are purpose to make a difference remember i've always said we are blessed to be a blessing i really thank god because this honorary degree humbled me like i have never been humbled before when i got the email messages from the commonwealth university i was like ah these people they they they, they are just this is these are scams and what have you so i ignored they sent a reminder i ignored they sent a third reminder and after the third reminder they called me when this mzungu was talking on the phone i was like what you mean this thing is real it is true because he talked about you are one african that we have been looking for and we want to honor you are you willing to take up this opportunity then because now i was speaking to a human being i got some confidence and i said yes and that is how the whole process started when i informed my friends in canada about what i had received the information i had received i told them i don't have a ticket i cannot travel to to nigeria because that is where the occasion was going to be held uh, because i'm african they actually took it to africa to to nigeria uh the, the, this um this organization is in uh, different like 28 different countries and one of them is nigeria and so that is where they placed my occasion to happen so when i told my friends in canada uh, one of my friends called beatrice 
she's actually my mother here. I usually call her mom. She was like, ah, well, what if we just bring friends together and ask them to contribute something because the air ticket is quite expensive. It was going to 500,000, a return ticket from Canada to Nigeria and back. So quickly, we called friends together and friends raised their amount. And there we are. Her and her children went ahead and booked the ticket for me. So little did we know that I really, I needed a visa. So in the process, when I was sleeping and something just came like, remember you are from Kenya, you are in, in, uh, in a foreign country and you're going to a, another country that is not your home. So you need a visa. So quickly I searched online and going through online, yes, of course I needed a visa. So what do I do? I, I went through the process, I called Beatrice, she told me, okay, apply very fast. So I applied. Uh, applying for the visa, uh, they told me to book an appointment to go to their, 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 their office in a place called Ottawa, which is like um, uh, eight hours from where I live. And during that time, when I booked the appointment, I am doing exams. It just happened that there was a window of one day, a Thursday, when I didn't have exams. So I booked on that particular day. So when it came to the day of travel, because I traveled night and night, uh, when I got to the embassy of Nigeria in Canada, you know what? They told me that I needed 15 days for my visa to be processed. And now here we are, we've already uh, uh, used money, booked the ticket. And how many do I have to that occasion? Like five days. This was the Thursday. I was supposed to be there, there on Wednesday, the following week. So I asked them, is there any other option? Is there a way you can consider to have uh, something like an emergency? Then they guided me. They told me the only way, the, uh, the only other way is to have visa on arrival. So you'll have to apply and ask the people on the other side to fast track the process. Apparently, when that time, the, the, during that time now that I, they were supposed to fast track the process on the other side, it is a Friday and they are going to sleep, you know. So they tried what they could. I tried what I could from this side and nothing went, uh, we didn't succeed. And so they resulted that whatever the case, they are going to give me the honorary degree because it was long overdue for them. Ha, then it happened the way it happened. It was so humbling to see very senior men standing up, honoring me, you know, I was like this small thing from Kenya, having people from the world standing up because I have said something. It was uh, so humbling, my friends, I tell you. Anyway, thank you once again for this extraordinary honor and for joining in this special celebration. Your presence, whether virtual or in spirit, brings an irreplaceable warmth and joy to this occasion. Adds me more years. I feel like I'm so young today, yeah? So thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for trusting me. Thank you so much for considering me as a mentor because if I can count how many people have called me mentor, from the students I taught in high school up to the students I taught when I was at Kemi, the teachers, uh, the lecturers in universities. I have even trained vice chancellors and uh, their deputies on education for sustainable development matters. And some of them call back to really appreciate what I have done for them. They write messages, you write messages. I really want to thank you. 
I'm so, 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 so humbled. I don't know how else I can appreciate you, but I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Remember, when you achieve, don't imagine that it is your strength. And that is the way I usually do things. Remember, the one who has enabled you to reach where you have reached, it is God. Always remember to return all the glory and honor to him. So at this point, I want to return all the glory and honor to God for enabling me to get to this end. And those wishing that I get the Nobel Prize, thank you so much. Uh, it was a dream at one time that in one time I might get it. You never know. Yeah, God knows. It's so humbling. When I was leaving the country, coming to Canada, there is one thing that somebody from the Embassy of Israel said. Because when I was working with the ESD, on the ESD program, the Embassy of Israel in Kenya was so close to me. Uh, why? Because at one time in 2018, they actually, Israel government sent me to the United Kingdom to represent them in a very massive um, uh, kind of workshop called the Limud Festival for the Jews to talk about education for sustainable development and what Israel is doing in Africa. You can imagine. And this is another honor that I'm receiving just on the same education for sustainable development. So this person from the embassy told, said this when I was coming to Canada, Kenya has lost, Canada has gained. When I heard those words, they disturbed me. And I asked God, what can I do? And that is when God spoke to me and told me, you can continue uh, walking with your people online. I thank God for technology, that we are able to continue conversing, we are able to continue learning from one another. And I thank God for enabling us to have this platform every Sunday without failing, just to say something. Let's continue to share laughter, good vibes, and surprises as we river to the rest of our evening together, as we get into Christmas, I thank God because I am one person who was blessed to be born a day to Christmas, meaning everybody celebrates my birthday somehow, those who celebrate uh, Christmas without know knowing on unknowingly. My friends and family always tell me that I, I, they thank God because I was born on 24th because they usually start Christmas early. <laughs> thank you. And really, may God bless you all. God bless you. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. That is so profound. I, we appreciate it. Uh, what, a, what a nice testimony. And we are feeling encouraged. Personally, I feel encouraged. And I believe... Uh, I would want to cement even this friendship and uh, this connection that God has given us even more uh, so that I, I continue being a beneficiary. We also feel good when we are associated with an achiever. And as you are saying, since it's an achievement for all of us, we feel that we, we have also achieved. I would want to read some of the messages I start with Anne. Anne Misia has said that you are indeed our Nelson Mandela because you have delivered some of us from heavy burdens of death. That is from Anne. Uh, Florida Maritime, who talked to us, also says that Dr. Christine, you have been a blessing to me and my young adults. Sessions on sustainability have been eye-opener, inspiring, keep sharing uh, knowledge. God bless you and your family uh, to attract more. Keep going. 
Then Abel says uh, happy birthday, Dr. Tina, that is Samuel also says happy birthday. And then Mary says congratulations and happy birthday, Dr. It has been a wonderful experience. Uh, interacting with you. It has really changed me and has encouraged me to face challenges. The way you introduced our diploma course in education management. When the, uh, when, and why is, uh, I think that statement is not clear. How to go about it is easy. Thanks for your wise words. God bless you and may he continue making ways for uh, for you. Congratulations again and again. Then and there's uh, someone who said uh, she has a clean heart or you have a clean heart. God will never disappoint you. Happy birthday, Dr. And then there's someone now, uh, Rose, who says congratulations and happy birthday, Dr. Uh, Petronila, the same. Happy birthday, Dr. Christine. Uh, God bless you. So we are very much uh, happy and we appreciate so much, Dr. Harry, for even encouraging us. Whatever you have shared is also encouraging to us. And this was your day and we are grateful for what you have done. And want to... Uh, Give Kate or by uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much because I wanted to ask you if my sister, my small, my kid sister, can also say something. Kate yes, or to, Yeah, uh, Kate or is my small sister. <laughs> Kate, yes, you mean... Kate, Kate, I'll give her the honors to to say something and as we conclude uh, and also pray. So she is the one to conclude for us and also pray. But before then, I wanted uh, to request people. Uh, this, this Ruth has said that I'm still struggling to continue my education. I hope challenges won't hinder me. Thank you for encouraging me. Congratulations. Help me come up. Yes, Ruth, continue uh, with all these connections. And, and I know you're still going to make it and you will succeed. If Dr. Harry has done it, and, and sometimes like for me, when I go to God in prayer, I usually tell God, if you have done for so and so, why can't you do it also for me? And by faith, I believe God can be able to do it. Uh, if God has done it for Dr. Tina, Ruth, uh, God can also do it for you. Uh, I wanted now to request, and all of us who are here, uh, there is something uh, that we shared with Dr. Tari, and she mentioned, uh, she, she agreed that one of the ways of appreciating uh, even much, yes, it is good we have appreciated her, but the other way of appreciating much is to make someone else or to be a blessing to someone else who would wish also to uh, continue with their education. And this is a humble request that if we are able as a group to contribute something towards helping a child or a student somewhere who is struggling. In honor of all those many years that Dr. Terry has not mentioned to us, <laughs> and also in honor of that uh, doctorate, uh, uh, honorary doctorate uh, degree, we would wish to appreciate by giving thanks to God by sponsoring someone with the little that, or even the much that you are going to have and to contribute. So there was a humble request, but we said, let us share it in the group. That if all of us are okay, whatever little that we can be able to contribute, we look as a group, we get to look for someone who requires, someone who is struggling and requires some small support or some support to be able to further their education. 
if Dr. sees someone who was almost quitting or who could not go to school and right now they are in a better position. And this came because of uh, the friends of ESD, the friends of Denis Sawa who decided to support and say uh, uh, that uh, student, that will be also an additional, um, uh, as in she, Dr. Tari will be even more proud to see someone who has furthered the education out of the support that we have done. So this is our request that this coming week, since we are not going to have a, a paid session, uh, even this other coming week, that we contribute as whatever God will help you to do. So that come next year, we sponsor someone, even if it is one term or two terms or even one year whatever little that you're going to make so that we put it in honor of what God has done to Dr. Christine. So if you are okay with that, I would want to find out whether that the request and that suggestion is okay. And if it is okay, let us write there, just put a yes or you put a hand just to say whether you are okay or not. Please, we would want to find out whether that is a, a good approach by making sure we request. Yes, I can see. Yeah, someone, uh, yes, Abel in support. Uh, yes, Florida, yes, uh, Abel and someone else. Are we in support? Someone else, please. I know we are in a, in a challenging times, even though a majority of us are also thinking about uh, school fees coming this other year. But just as we have been shown by Dr. that we, when we give and when we also offer ourselves, God is also blessing us in our various ways. When you give, we are also going to be blessed. It is not in vain. Yeah, thank you. Thank you also, Damaris. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Samuel. Thank you, Kate. Yes, thank you, Ruth. Yeah, thank you for saying you are in support. And we appreciate. So as per what I have received from you, uh, I think we will go ahead. We are going to last with Dr. Ree, and we are going to share the pay bill number and also the description that you're going to give, then all that amount, Dr. Terry will also help us, whatever uh, amount you're going to contribute, we are going to select through uh, Dr. Terry some people who are going to help us identify uh, that needed student or that needed people. The, we are going to select some few of us in this group. So thank you. God bless you so much. We appreciate. Uh, we didn't intend to take much time, but we appreciate that you have uh, and, uh, taken time to listen to all what you are uh, to say. Now, I want to request Kate, the small sister, uh, Kate Obaigwa, uh, to uh, give a vote of thanks as well as uh, say something small and then conclude with a word of prayer. But from Denisawa team, and Denisawa team right now, I also have uh, Grace Mutinda, who is also part of my, my team, who is who has also joined us. Uh, she is the one who usually does the, um, the digital uh, posting, the digital marketing, and even the e-posters. I'm sure you've been seeing that. Uh, we also want to appreciate her for uh, the good work done. Thank you all. God bless you. Over to you, kids. Uh, good uh, evening, everyone, those in Kenya <laughs> and those in Canada. Good morning. I want to appreciate all of you for uh, joining the meeting. I want to appreciate my sister, for the great honor that she received. It is God's doing and I appreciate what the Lord has done. For sure, when you put God first, nothing is impossible. And as my sister has always said, 
when you put God first, you work hard, for sure you will succeed. And through that, we have seen how she has succeeded. We want to thank you for coming to the meeting. Thank you for all the support that you, you've given her. It was great to have her be able to receive that, uh, uh, that uh, honorable degree. And uh, for you taking your time to come to the meeting, it's a great honor for us, for my sister, and all of us as a family, we are so happy, we are so grateful. May you continue with this spirit and let the fire, the fire keep on burning. May God bless you all and thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, Kate. Now you can pray and conclude the meeting, please. Okay, let's pray. Father in heaven, we come unto you this moment to give you thanks and glory for all that you have done unto us, Lord. We want to thank you for this moment. Thank you for enabling us to have this meeting. Thank you for my sister and all the blessings that you have bestowed unto her, O oh Lord Jesus. Father, I want to put each and every person in this group unto thy able hands that, Lord, you touch their hearts. May you fulfill their needs. Whatever they are struggling with, O oh Lord Jesus, may you lighten that burden for them. Father, and we want to glorify you for all the blessing that you have given unto each and every one of us, even at this time of the year, when we are about to celebrate Christmas, Lord, we want to praise you and glorify your name. We are here because of you, Lord. You have enabled us to reach this moment, and we don't take it for granted. It's a great uh, 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 honor for us, and we praise you and glorify you, Lord. May you continue blessing us, continue being with us, giving us the strength to carry on. Even when things are tougher, oh Lord, help us to continue pushing mm -hmm. on. Thank you for giving us the strength to always mm -hmm. carry on mm -hmm. in our life. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you. May you bless each and every one of us as we disperse. Bless our families and take care of us, oh Lord Jesus. For we pray all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you so much. And Amen. this meeting, we are not going to end the way you usually end. Now, the doctor, you can stop recording. Mm -hmm. But now after that, uh, you have, uh, we are going to allow people to feel free. Those who want to continue chatting, 